Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proofwork Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress basic tutorial for beginners and this is our part 3. In this video session guys, we will discuss about overview of WordPress admin menu tabs. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress basic tutorial. So basically guys, in this video session, we are going to discuss about the WordPress provided called admin menu tabs. And also in our part 1 and part 2 we had discussed about that how can we install WordPress and what is basically the WordPress default folder structure. Okay, so as we can see that guys inside administrator panel there are several admin menus called post, media, pages, comments and so on up to settings. Okay, so we are going to understand about each menu separately. So let's start with the dashboard section. So basically guys, if you want to redirect to your front end page means of this WordPress setup, just we are going to hover on that and click on visit site. This actually links gives you to the front end panel. Okay. So now this is the dashboard menu tab of admin panel. So inside this dashboard dashboard we have two sub menus called home and updates. So basically home menu tab means home sub menu gives you about the updates of what actually the WordPress provides. This is called the admin dashboard visit section. Now next we have a sub menu called updates. So basically guys this is the sub menu actually gives you about the updates of your theme as well as updates of your plugin. Okay, so if you could go to that page, now as we can see that we have called last check on December, this is the time actually the WordPress updates. Okay, so now here we have a plugin and this is the plugin actually requires some updates. This is the updated plugin, basically this updates some menu reminders. So here we can understand about that dashboard contains two sub menus called home and updates. So basically home section contains all of our widget section of dashboard. Okay. And the updates panel gives you about the update of your plugin as well as your theme structure. Okay. So now it's time for post section. So basically post section is responsible to create our own post. Suppose our website has a blog page and now that blog blog page actually contains thousands of different different categories posts. So all these posts actually we can create from this post section and now inside this post section guys if you want to create any new category so we can click on this category section we can create that and now by adding called add new we can create our own post to our blog page okay so basically this post section is used to create the blog posts okay now it's time for the media section so basically media is used to upload our own images file to this WordPress setup. Suppose I am going to upload some of the files, clicking on add new, we have to select or drag and drop to this area. So just I am clicking on this button. So basically now we have to upload some of the files to our media gallery. So let's select that gallery 1, gallery 2, gallery 2. Now these are the files that I am going to upload, clicking on open. Now here as you can see that guys we have uploaded three different images files. Okay, again if I click on select files, we can upload new files also. Okay, so let's upload some of the files called custom WordPress theme development. This is the image that we have selected, click on open. And now again we are uploading that image. So media library basically is responsible to upload our images section to our WordPress setup. Next we have a menu tab called pages. So basically guys, this is the section actually basically used to build the pages of our WordPress setup. This menu actually provides all the control over our WordPress setup project pages section. Okay, so if you want to create any new page for our website, we can create from this sub menu. Suppose in case we want to create four different pages for our website called home, called services, called product, contacts and so many pages we want, we can create from this pages section. Just I'm click on add new. We can provide the page details right here and now we can create our WordPress pages from this pages sub menu tab. Now next we have a menu called comment section. So basically guys this comment section actually stores all the comments actually user has commented to our post. Okay. Suppose for our blog page we have created thousands of posts. Okay. So in that thousands of posts actually user has commented their own feedbacks. So all the comments actually we can got actually we can get from this comment menu tab. Okay, we can do our own actions to those comments like we, if you are to approve the comment then we can approve. Okay, so basically this comment section actually provides you all the details of your user's comment on your website. 
Now it's time for the appearances tab. So basically appearance tab provides you about the guidelines of your theme. Okay. This basically contains the themes. This basically gives you the list of all currently actually stored inside your WordPress set setup themes detail. If you want to customize your theme, just you have to click on the second sub menu of this appearances menu tab. It will redirect you to a page where, can, where actually you can customize your theme. And now as we can see that while clicking on that button, we have redirected here and we can customize all the features of this WordPress setup from a page. Okay. So just I'm going to back. Okay. So now we are back. So here we have a third sub menu page called the widget section. So basically this gives you all the details about the widgets actually this theme actually supports. In our upcoming videos guys actually where we are going to develop our own widgets then we in that case actually we will discuss about this widget section of this theme. Okay, where actually we will learn about the concept of widget section for a theme structure. Next we have a sub menu called menus. Basically this menus contains all the menu details about the hierarchy, about the menu label, all of a theme. Okay, by the help of this menu tab guys we can, we can actually set the menus for our WordPress setup or our WordPress application. If suppose we want to see the code of our activated theme or any of the theme installed in our WordPress setup, we can just go to editor. Now inside this editor guys, we can actually edit any of the theme inside our editor. Okay. Here we can see that here you can provide about theme details. Any of the theme we can select and click on select and we can edit all the files from this editor. Okay, so better guys that you should not use this editor to edit any of the theme files because any error in the, inside this editor, any error inside these files actually crash your WordPress setup. Okay, now next we have a folder menu tab called plugins. So basically this plugin menu tab gives you the detail of your installed plugin to your WordPress setup. Means suppose we want to install some of the plugins from the WordPress repository. So all the plugins installed called activated, called inactivate, all the plugins actually go inside this plugins menu tab. Here again we have a sub menu called editor. So by using this editor guys actually we can edit any of the plugin installed to our WordPress setup. So right now we have called hello dolly and this is for the anti-spam. Okay. So if we want to edit any of the files of any plugin just we have to select and edit from this code editor. So I strongly suggest to you guys that you don't use this editor because it will crash your application if suppose it contains any error in this file. Next we have a menu called users. Now this user actually basically contains all the informations about the users actually stored inside our website. Suppose we have created multiple users to our website. So all the users detail goes inside this users menu tab. Suppose if you want to add new users such so as I'm going to click on add new. So basically WordPress provides some of the user roles as the default called subscriber, contributor, author, editor and administrator. Okay, so any of the specific user role, we can create user accordingly. So users menu tab guys basically responsible to store all the information about the users that we have created. Okay, so now it's time to discuss about the tool section. So we will discuss about the tool section in our upcoming videos. So it's time for our settings panel. So settings panel guys basically it's from the name it is clear that these are the configuration that actually we can set for our website from the settings panel. Let's change some of the configuration and see that what happens. So basically if you go to the front end pa pa page, if you hover then as we can see that WordPress basics called just another WordPress site. Okay. So if you want to change this message, just go to settings page. Now as we are here as we can see and we can change the message here. Okay. So let's say WordPress basics updated. Okay. I am going to save this page. Just click on save changes. Again reload this page. Now if you hover on that, as we can see that WordPress basics updated. So this guy is basically settings panel contains all gives you the panel to update the general configuration of your WordPress setup. Okay, suppose if we want to change our called pages section, just go to reading section. Now inside reading section guys, we can change about the home layout. What page actually basically we want to our front end page, just suppose for the blog section or any of the page that we have created, just we have to actually set all the details regarding that inside reading section of settings panel. Okay, so if you go to the permalinks, 
So basically all the route details called the route actually what we want for our website, for our WordPress post, for our WordPress page, we can just set inside this permalink setting. So basically guys by the help of this video session actually we understood about the each menu tabs of our admin panel. For the summary point of view, if you want to understand about the dashboard bit then basically it will give you idea about the updates of your plugin or the theme at admin dashboard. The post section, basically if you want to create about the blog post, we can create from this section. Okay, if you want to upload any of the images file, any of the medias that we can upload from this media gallery. Okay, we can just suppose if you want to upload videos, audios or images files, we can just select and drag and drop and we can upload inside this media library. If you want to make our WordPress website pages, then just we have to go and inside this pages section, we can create new pages like home, blog, services, contact from this pages section. Suppose the blog post actually got thousands of com comments from the users, then all the comments actually resides or stored inside this comments menu tab. If you want to edit any of the theme features, if you want to activate any of the other theme instead of currently activated, then just we have to go inside our appearances tab. We can just configure our all the details of our theme called widgets, menus, theme customize, theme customization tool, all we can actually do inside this appearance menu tab. Plugins menu tab basically contains all the details about the activated, called deactivated, all the installed plugins in our WordPress setup. Users tab basically gives you the details that how many users are basically your WordPress setup contains and what are the different roles actually you have provided, you have assigned to your users. And finally, the site configuration actually you have done with your website, all the informations about the general configuration you can actually find inside this settings panel. So all the menu tabs guys of admin panel we have discussed and defined in own step. So basically guys by the help of this video session actually we understood about the overview of WordPress admin menu tabs. So if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.